we're going to look at just a couple of things that might help you with a two minute tango level two. Um, and this is the aspects of dividing by one and zero. So the first thing we need to know about dividing is that's the inverse or opposite of multiplying. So if we think of multiplying five times three is 15, what that means is we've got five groups of three and that is 15, right? Now, if we ask ourselves what's 15 divided by three, we are asking ourselves how many groups of three are there in 15? And we can see that there are five groups of three and 15. So there's the opposite idea. Five groups of three is 15. 5 times 3 is 15, immediately means that 15 divided by 3, how many groups of 3 are there in 15, is 5. So we can always get an answer to a division by doing the thinking about the multiplication that goes with it. We can also think about dividing as sharing. So if you're thinking about 12 divided by 3, you can think of it as having 12 cakes, 3 people who want to share those cakes, and how many cakes will each of the people get? Well, they'll each get four. So 12 divided by three is four. So using these, let's make sense of these things. Zero divided by six. Well, that means you've got six people who want to share, but what are they gonna share? Well, they're sharing zero. They're sharing absolutely nothing. So if you've got nothing and six people are sharing it, what is each person gonna get? They're still gonna get nothing. On the other hand, if you've got six divided by one, what you've got is six cakes and you've just got one person who has to well share them well how many how many cakes is that person going to get well they're going to get all six of the cakes now what about six divided by zero this is a really funny one here you've got six cakes and then what you're saying is you've got no people who need to share the cakes how many is each person going to get but there's no people doesn't really make sense the other thing that we sort of talked about with division, you could think about division as saying, how many groups of zero are there in six? But even that doesn't make sense. So we say that six divided by zero is undefined. And let me just really hopefully convince you completely that it is undefined. It doesn't make any sense by just reminding you about the relationship between division and multiplication. So you know, for example, we saw six divided by three is two, means two times three is six. So if we were able to get a nice answer for six divided by zero, so we could get out a decent answer, that would mean that that answer times zero would be equal to six. So if we're looking for six divided by zero is what? The same thing, the same question is what times zero will give you six? Now, hopefully you'll see nothing times zero is going to end up giving you six. I mean, let's try a few things. Maybe it's zero. Well, is zero times zero six? No. Maybe the answer to six times zero is six. Well, is six times zero six? No. Nothing that we can put in. No number times zero is going to give you six. And that's why six times six divided by zero is undefined. So six divided by zero is undefined. It's easy to get it confused with zero divided by six, which is perfectly decent. No cake, six people sharing them. Everybody's going to get nothing. So six, zero divided by six is zero, but six divided by zero is undefined.